Antiman, and today we are going to learn about the amazing power that Jesus gives you and you and you and you and me. But before we do that, I want you to get up and get ready because we are going to have some fun with worship. Be right back. <laughs> Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So Jesus said he had complete authority on heaven and on earth. And then listen to this verse. 
Matthew 16, 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus had all power and authority. And now he's giving you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Do you know what that means? It means that all that power that Jesus had, he has sent his Holy Spirit and has poured it out upon all people. The Bible says that the Spirit will fall upon all flesh and then we can go out and use the gifts that 1 Corinthians 12, 8 talks about. We can use the gift of prophecy, the gift of faith. We can use prophecy to speak words that will build a person up or cheer a person up or draw them near to God. Or we may even ask God, God, this person is having a trouble with this. What can I tell them to encourage them? And God can give you a word of wisdom to help them. Joshua was a man who followed Moses. And Joshua loved following Moses and learning everything that Moses taught him because Moses learned it from God. So I want you to watch this quick story and I will be right back to finish up our day. All right, see you soon. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joshua. This is Joshua. Joshua was an Israelite who followed Moses through the wilderness. Joshua learned from Moses as Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. And as Moses taught the people about God's law. One day, Moses was talking to the Israelites he was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. Yeah. I'll see here, all you. When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Hold on. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Yeah. Then Moses called Joshua Me? and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. Uh, see? Then Moses died. Uh... To this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourn. Uh -huh. The people of Israel looked to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. There he is. Yeah. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. They instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Joshua told the Israelites they were going to cross the Jordan River. See here, this is what we're gonna do, okay? And so, Joshua prepared to lead his people as the Lord had commanded. How did you like that? That was pretty funny, huh? I like that part too. Um, you know, Joshua was a little afraid because he was so used to following Moses. But Moses told him that God had called Joshua now to lead the people. And he told Joshua to be strong 
and very courageous. And Joshua did just as he was told. And God used Joshua to lead the people into the land that gave them abundance. I want you to know today that God is telling you to be strong and courageous. If God gives you and blesses you with the gift of prophecy, say you're just walking by someone and all of a sudden you feel like God is saying, tell that person, Jesus loves you. Be bold and courageous enough just to say that. That's all Jesus asks you to do. Or if somebody is sick, or if somebody has those alvi, or if they're hurting, you have the power to pray and ask Jesus to heal them. I hope this week will be an amazing week for you. I pray that God will pour out His Spirit upon you, that you will rise up and you will be bold and courageous and use your superpowers that we've been learning about these last eight weeks to go out and do like Joshua, to be bold and courageous and follow God wherever He calls you to be. Until next time, we all love you.